Hello and welcome my friend, today another deck profile and we're going to talk about Melodious cards, right? Uh, deck profile plus uh, some combos and uh, yeah, Melodious, a deck that's gaining popularity recently, uh, obviously with Nationals being played uh, like these couple weeks, even the one and only Joshua Schmidt uh, has uh, played Melodious instead of Snake Eye or Labyrinth or Voiceless or whatever else, even instead of Runic, uh, yeah, and uh, the deck is pretty simple, the deck is pretty fun, I'm going to talk about it more in this video, so let's get right into it. So let's get right into the deck profile of the Melodious, right? I mean, we have the uh, Mikaku here, the Melodious, right? Everything starts with M, and um, let's go with three refrain, right? We're not reinventing the wheel here, uh, very inspired by, uh, yeah, lists that uh, we saw here and there, right, two Soprano. And there are two lines of, uh, yeah, sorts for this one, Sonata and Canon. Uh, some people just play two, some people play three, one, some people play two and one. Uh, obviously, Sonata is better than Canon. The only difference is this is a level four, and I think that matters. So uh, having both in hand also doesn't hurt. You know, the only thing is uh, if you play, like, what is it, two of these, that's just silly. But uh, two and one, I think, uh, just doesn't hurt and uh, yeah, benefits you in most cases. And the crucial one of the Aria and the Shupina to make the combo complete. We're going to talk about combos in a bit, but let's first go through this very standard deck profile uh, just so uh, yeah, everyone has uh, a grasp of what we have. Obviously, Ostinado, the branded fusion of the deck. Luckily, uh, I feel like that the Melodious hype train is kind of dying down, right? People were putting Melodious cards in all of their decks, but uh, yeah, good for the deck, right? Good for the pure version, which this obviously is, um, that this is not the case anymore. And uh, yeah, so we don't have to fear Ostinado being hit for like Snake Eye Sins or whatever, right? And especially with, uh, what are they called? The Fiendsmith engine coming up. Uh, melodious engine just uh, can chill a bit obviously the three solo uh yeah if you just don't buy the but don't buy this i mean the card is really good but it's just the same as refrain so if you are uh, like if you find some other searcher for refrain then yeah just buy this and it's way cheaper uh this is like 30 something bucks right for like some random super rare that will probably get reprinted at some point and lose all its value so Unless you're as mentally insane as I am, don't buy this. Or unless you want to play this deck at a, big, a bigger event, right? Where like you need to really min-max, then yeah, sure, buy it. But uh, if you're just playing this for fun, you can just cut this card or play some other search consistency card. Uh, two Concerto, one is just too little. Uh, it's not bad to draw. Uh, and in case you have one, then you can search the other. It's, it's, it's not even the same as with... Uh, increase in like hero decks or something like that where uh like your combo just uh like doesn't even work if you have them in hand or doesn't work to the same degree uh yeah this is just uh it's just a good card in general right so uh, it's not a like garnet or something like that for the couplet then three prosperity as long as we have three let's make use of them and uh yeah this deck can uh Really benefit from the uh, consistency bo boost right a pot card is needed some people are playing desires i hate desires uh so i'm not going to play that so i play prosperity our extra deck obviously is needed uh but honestly like uh we can banish six cards from our extra deck and be fine uh like if you are uh, smart about it then for the uh, like uh, main part of the deck the hand traps right uh we are playing hand traps with engine, right? It feels like this is the current format. I mean, uh, Snake Eye doesn't even get to do the crazy things because everyone is just playing a dozen of hand traps. And uh, yeah, in case you don't know, Herald of Orange Light, Ash Blossom, two Veiler, two Bell, two Ogre, why two offs? Because uh, if I, you have multiple of them, you can use all of them. And they also cover different bases. Three of Imperm and three of Ash because they are the most generic. And obviously Herald 3 off as well because it's uh, one of the best hand traps uh, that we currently have. And the one called, off, called by the grave because we don't want to get hand trapped. You could cut some more cards, uh, write some 2 offs or something and then look to play Crossout as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you go to an event maybe Crossout should be an extra deck uh, or side deck card. 
but yeah, overall, I think uh, yeah, we can place through some hand traps, so it's not that bad. Then going into the extra deck, the extra deck here is a bit different uh, than like standard Melodious extra decks, right? Uh, most would play a 2 at 12. Um, I only play one. Two Bacha, I mean, that's, I think, mandatory. Uh, you can't play less than two. I also play one Shiverta, right? Uh, if you really want to be on the safer side while you're going to a YCS. Oh, no, if you're in Europe, there are no YCSs, right? But if you go somewhere and you're really, uh, like, terrified of, uh, what is it? Uh, Kashtura Unicorn or some stuff like that, then yeah, sure, play more of these. And then the one uh, Bloom Deaver or something like that, uh, it comes up. Yeah, does it come up as often as like the second copy of these? Maybe the beta ball, but uh, yeah, it's just good to have the option. Uh, so now this is maybe not exactly pure, but we're playing one uh, Vortex and one Absolute Zero or Absolute Dragon. Um, yeah, this is not the pure combo, but uh, in case you want to have uh, an Omni Negate, or actually you can see, we play these here in case you want to have an Omni Negate going into game two or three and you are fearful of the enemy uh, yeah, drafting in some board breakers, uh, which obviously, sure, this deck can do something against, right? The pure end board with a 12 is like not completely dead to some board breakers, but uh, yeah, it's still, yeah, it can be cringe. So this is an option that you can uh, go into, which I think is like fine. Uh, another XE obviously is Typhon. Typhon. You could also look at cards like Bubuska, for example. Um, Right, you could cut these, play one of these two and a Babuska or something. Babuska also really good in this deck or really helpful. Uh, obviously, like Floodgates Turbo is kind of uh, like the game name of the game. Floodgates, one card combos and tons of hand traps. Uh, yeah, currently our format is really great. Uh, so yeah, this is also an option as this deck can really uh, easily do uh, rank four plays. Um, yeah, that's that. Now coming to the links, the one gravity controller, uh, yeah, pretty standard. Obviously, if you're here in this deck profile, you probably have seen some others. You know how uh, it works with Bacha, right? Linking them away and so on and so on. One cross sheep, cross sheep just really nice with this uh, fusion deck, right? We know it from Tier, we know it from others. Uh, yeah, just, just nice. The one Bloom Harmony or something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously it is an amazing card. It is very prone to getting uh, like ashed or infirmed or like whatever, right? Um, it screams, uh, what is it? Uh, hand trap me, negate me, right? It's like the speeder of something of this deck. Summons two uh, different level uh, melodious cards from your deck. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Uh, but yeah, again, card is prone to being negated, prone to... Uh, like uh, cucking you right because it is like some kind of choke point at this point um but yeah still amazing card then generics ip sp i guess beyond the pendle or exceed the pendle whatever i always mix these up this girl here uh kind of nice right there's a line where this comes up to go into a two material appaloosa but obviously we can also make bigger material appaloosas very easily with this deck as it uh yeah pukes out monsters you have to be careful with some of these here uh, due to the fact that some cards uh, lock you into melodious monsters so like they're not always live and in these cases okay maybe we shouldn't play all of these right maybe we don't need ip uh, and then we play a second at 12 uh, maybe we don't want to play these here right we don't want to have an omni uh, uh, an omni negate and we use these three extra spots to play a babuska and two of these more uh, this is completely valid uh, i'm not saying i'm the expert on this subject i really wanted to share and uh, maybe learn something from you as well so my friends i'm going to show you two um pure melodious combos at first then i'm going to show you one uh where we end on the vortex dragon so looking at the omni negate and last and finally a very fringe one uh which uh, may also utilize some cards that were not in the deck profile uh because i believe it is uh, a bit more cringe a bit more something for the loves but uh maybe not the most optimal way to play the deck i'll i'd like to share it nonetheless but we'll get to that when we'll get to that let's first start with an ostinado combo 
Um, so activate Ostinato, send refrain and couplet to summon Baja, right? They all go to the grave. And you see, well, kinda. Maybe I should have uh, got a mat with some zones. Anyway, Baja is going to activate and he's going to summon from deck. Uh, he's going to summon from deck Chupina. And Chupina is going to activate and add Couplet back to our hand. Couplet is now going to activate. If she's added to hand, she can special summon uh, a Melodious card or Melodious monster level four or lower from your graveyard. That's going to be Refrain. And then uh, Refrain is going to activate when summoned, she can add something to hand. So we're adding the Soprano to our hand. Then we're going to put a couplet into the scale, activate her scale effect, and that's going to add Concerto to our hand. And now we're going to activate Concerto. Concerto is a fusion. Obviously, couplet and refrain um, are going into the uh, like extra deck, as pendulum cards do. The uh, Chopina is going into the graveyard, right? That's again how fusions work. We're going to summon. Well, um, these two are going to trigger and they're going to put themselves into the scales when a fusion is summoned. We have not used Refrain's uh, scale effect and that is going to send a Melodious monster into the graveyard. We're going to send Aria. Now we have not normal summoned yet. We can normal summon Soprano, use her effect to fuse with the Baja and go into the Schuberta, that's going to trigger the effect of our Bacha to summon back a monster or a Melodious from Grave, that's going to be our Chopina. Chopina's effect, it's not hard once per turn, right? She's going to add us a Melodious monster from our graveyard to our hand, it's going to be Aria. And then we're going to Pendulum summon Aria, right? Special summon her. And then Aria obviously with her effect when special summoned, in this case Pendulum summoned. Uh, yeah, all Melodious monsters can be uh, yeah, destroyed by battle and can be targeted. Chopina in this case is not doing too much, but with a 12's effect, right? If we banish her um, and then she comes back, her effect is live, so we can use it again. The same goes for, Sh for Schuberta, right? So these two, uh, if they go from the field and come back, right? For example, with her effect, uh, we can use their effects once more. So we have a triple DD Crow, potentially six times DD Crow. Uh, we have potential follow up for our next turn with uh, targeted and battle protection. And obviously the uh, like dodge, right? With banishing our own monsters, which obviously can dodge effects. And obviously uh, the other side of the effect, uh, the bounce. So yeah, this is a very, very typical or the standard end board here uh, after one ostinado doesn't look that impressive, but uh, it is a one card combo. You have a five or four card uh, in your hand because you can activate uh, the Concerto and uh, shuffle it back into the deck. And then you draw one more card. So uh, the Ostinado that you used at the start, actually it, yeah, it didn't cost you any hand, uh, hand cards. You still have five cards left, the four cards that you started and then the one card that you drew uh, in addition to that. So yeah. With five cards left in hand, having this end board uh, or this board here with potential extension, uh, it's just crazy. Let's go into uh, another one card combo for this deck. So the next one card combo here could be either a normal summon refrain or a, yeah solo of the first movement or something. Um, so yeah, it's either or, doesn't really matter. Let's activate solo and special summon refrain from our deck. Then refrain's effect activates. We're going to add Couplet to our hand. Sadly, we don't have anything engraved, so Couplet is not going to revive anything. Still scaling the Couplet just like before, adding the Concerto. Activating Concerto right away, putting these two into the, uh, yeah, on top of the extra deck. And we're going to obviously summon Bacha. Why do we always summon Bacha, by the way, in the extra monster zone? Uh, yeah, simple. Uh, it is uh, due to the fact that if it gets imperned or whatever, we can easily link it away into a gravity controller and continue uh, to some extent from there. Then due to the fusion summon, we're going to trigger 
our uh, Melodious cards from the uh, extra deck, right, to scale themselves. So changing one, two, three. They scale. Then, as before, we're going to summon the Chopina and can't activate her effect to add something yet, but we can just uh, use Refrain's scale effect and uh, yeah, let's get Aria or rather send Aria into the graveyard. Uh, Shupina effect, add Aria to our hand. So, and at that point, we're going to link these two away into our link to the bloom. So again, this is, uh, yeah, screaming hand trap me, screaming interrupt me, right? This is like the speeder, uh, the junk speeder of this deck to some extent. Uh, yeah, it's just a really crucial choke point in this line of play. Yeah. So we're going to activate Baja's effect, right? If sent to the graveyard, we can summon uh, Melodious back. We're going to activate uh, summon Chupina back. Then we're going to activate Bloom's effect, discarding the area to summon two um, Melodious monsters from our deck with different levels. We're going to very importantly uh, bring back the Soprano and the Couplet. Oh, uh, if Soprano is special summoned, you can add one Melodious Monster from your graveyard back to your hand. That's going to be Aria. And then we're going to use her different effect, right? The fusion effect. And we're going to fuse with the couplet. Couplet goes into the extra monster zone. And this goes into the grave. We're going to make Schuberta. See? Yeah, okay. Then we're going to activate Chupina's effect, right? after bringing her back so this is like a new one and we're going to add the soprano back to our hand uh, again remember we could have used the concerto at an earlier point um, right concerto can be activated if a fusion hits the graveyard so the moment we link this away uh, you can always use it but let's keep it simple with just these two cards in our hand here and now we can uh, pendulum summon of course uh, let's not forget the couplet and then the aria and the soprano right why is it great that this is the couplet right because now we don't have to use the uh Chupina for the final fusion into the etoile and as such we have the same end board with uh the normal summon of the refrain or uh the first movement solo then if uh or as if whatever uh, we've used ostinato so that's the funny part of the stack. Obviously this combo goes through Bloom, which is, as I said, a bigger choke point. Uh, so it is easier to be interrupted on in this line uh, than in the Ostinado one. But uh, the end board is exactly the same. Uh, we have both of our fusion boss monsters with the Aria protection and a Chopina for potential follow-up. And again, we have five cards in hand. We have used um, either so solo or refrain as a normal summon uh, which makes obviously five minus one and then we could have used the concerto which again i i'm not using it in uh, this video after the first time uh, because it's just annoying um but yeah this obviously draws you one more card as well so yeah it's just amazing you get the same end board still have five cards in hand and uh, yeah it's the same cards not much more to say let's go into the next combo so the next two combos that I'm going to show you are obviously not pure versions. So we're not going to lock us into Light Fairies with Shupina. So she's uh, yeah out. And both of them are going to use Ostinado. So the first one, activate Ostinado. And we're going to send two Refrain into the graveyard to summon Baja Baja from deck. It's going to summon another Refrain. And refrain is going to add couplet. So far, so similar, right? And couplet, obviously, with added, is going to bring back a refrain from grave. So one is left in grave, two on field, scale couplet, add concerto. Again, very similar to uh, what we've did, done before. And uh, not much is going to change. We're going to activate concerto. We're going to put these two into the uh, extra deck to summon out uh, a second Bacha. Uh, Bacha's effect is once per turn, so he's not going to do too much here. Um, on the summon, we're going to scale our girls once more. Then with Refrain, we're going to send a second couplet into the graveyard. Now we're going to overlay 
these two uh, level sevens into uh, where is he? The absolute dragon. And then we're going to link away the absolute dragon and the refrain into cross sheep. Put it there. Now a few things are going to trigger. Again, concerto, you can draw something. Uh, let's just do it this time. Then the absolute dragon and the Baja are going to trigger. Uh, absolute uh, is obviously going to summon out the vortex. Let's summon him here. This is zone placement actually matters, I should have said. In any case, right, if your cross sheep is here or here, um, the uh, vortex dragon has to be in the uh, furthest left or rightmost zone so that you have like all the space on the other side. That actually does matter. Um, and then the Baja is going to summon back the uh, the couplet here. So again, we have one more card. Doesn't matter, right? The one more concerto. Um, then cross ship is going to trigger because a fusion was summoned into a zone, and that's going to revive the last refrain, right? Uh, that we sent at the very very start from our ostinato. Now with all of this material, like we can do whatever the heck we want. Already have the Omni Negate here. Um, we can link these here away for a three material Appaloosa, right? Again, in the uh, other side of the field. And now we still have not Pendulum summoned. We can Pendulum summon, uh, yeah, all the Melodious cards. And uh, yeah, from here, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, again, you could now go into something like Babuska or like some other level fours, uh, rank fours. Um, you could uh, link these away into an IP and then have a potential SP play in your opponent's turn. Um, that is, I think, the best option here uh, in this uh, one, right? So. You have a three material Appaloosa, you have a couplet that's just chilling around, you have an IP with material that, that goes into SP, you have the Vortex, right, that is live, because for Vortex Omni Negate to be live you need to have face up pendulum monsters in your uh, in your extra deck. Um, so he's live and Omni Negate, uh, we still have our scales, SP into uh, IP into SP, three material Appaloosa, uh, yeah, it looks like a rather solid board. Uh, in this version, we didn't go into any of our uh, fusions. It is possible to do so. If you don't send the couplet at the earlier stage and send the soprano, uh, you could go into a fusion instead of the Appaloosa and Link play. Uh, but at that point, I think we already committed into a different line of uh, end board. Uh, if you want to go into the fusions, I already showed you what uh, uh, steps to take. So uh, yeah, this is the more generic and I guess uh, for many the more boring end port. Now let's go into one spicy version of uh, this end port here or this combo. And uh, yeah, the spicy combo actually just is the same to this point here. Uh, it's just we do something different with the monsters here. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to repeat everything again. You already watched it just a couple seconds ago. So we here are at the end port where we have the Omni Negate, uh, not live yet, but bound to be, and the three material Appaloosa and all of these monsters. Uh, we are going to use these two level fours and we're going to go into Banshee. Uh, now the question you are asking yourself, is it a Protoss lock? Is it a Colossus lock? Is it a uh, um, Snake Eyes combo? And uh, yeah, for those that uh, yes, are guessing Colossus, you are correct. But let me show you how you're going to uh, Colossus. So you're going to detach and are going to add the uh, flag. Then we have not normal summoned in this combo. You can normal summon the flag with the flag at the corridor. Then uh, it doesn't really matter. It should be couplet and then any of these two, I would advise the flag. The couplet has to go into the extra deck or has to leave the field to go into the extra deck so that your Omni Negate is live. Um, Link these away into SP. SP is going to banish uh, one of the Bachas. And 
Then we can activate Corridor, recycle the Bacha, summon the Corridor, and then Link Fuse away into Colossus. And uh, yeah, with this, we have recycled one Bacha. We have an Omni Negate that's live, uh, a random Banshee, three Material Appaloosa, Colossus Lock, and an SP. Uh, sure, it's only, I guess, half an SP because it uh, only has one Banish effect in our opponent's turn. But yeah, this is a, like, I think clearly an upgrade to IP into SP in our opponent's turn, right? It, this endboard has only one Banish. Uh, but yeah, instead it has Colossus, so you can obviously think, oh yeah, one is better than the other. But uh, yeah, obviously the big reason why this is a bit of a silly thing. Uh, yeah, we waste two cards in our extra deck, or waste, and we play two bricks or two random cards in our main deck. So this is just one uh, example of what this uh, can do. Right, obviously, if you play a smaller Melodious package and uh, put it into other decks, uh, this was one option uh, or just shows you what you can get with the two, uh, what is it, level four monsters that can go into all kinds of things. Because in this line, we are not light fairy locked, as I said at the start. So we can go into all kinds of generic extra deck monsters and uh, yeah, continue to search, right? This could also be uh, Banshee, Search, Snake Eye, Ash, and we have not normal summon, normal summon Snake Eye, Ash and uh, yeah, do all kinds of stupid snake eye shenanigans. So that's about it. Hopefully you learned something new. If I did any errors or if you have anything to add, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at this point, smash like and subscribe button if it was enjoyable at all. And if you like Tierlemans content, hey, this is the right channel for you as well. Make sure to check out some other deck profiles, test hands and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye, my friends.